What's going on guys? Jacob Borth back here with another video of Jacob's Life in Vegas talking to you guys today about something that I feel pretty certain could only happen here in Nevada. Actually, this only could happen here in Nevada just because of the legal environment here of the state that I'm about to talk about. This is something that happened the other day after the primary elections I wanted to talk about just because I figure it's probably going to get a lot of attention. It's a unique scenario, but Dennis Hoff. Some of you might know who that name is, some of you might not. Dennis Hoff is a uh, person here, a guy who lives here in Nevada, and he actually owns several brothels. He actually owns, I believe, uh, six or seven brothels. He owns half a dozen brothels. He owns six brothels here in Nevada. Actually just won the Republican primaries the other day for the Nevada State Legislature. He beat James Oscarson, uh, is the person he beat. James Oscarson had held the position for the last uh, three terms, and actually, Oscarson beat uh, Dennis Hoff back in 2016. Dennis Hoff ran as a libertarian a couple years ago. This time he ran as a Republican, ended up beating James Oscarson. And this is unique because Dennis Hoff said he owns several brothels. He had the uh, HBO uh, reality show called Cat House. He wrote a book called The um, Art of the Pimp. So Hoff now, he's actually going to have to face off Democrat Lesia Romanov in a district that actually already leans Republican. So believe it or not, so Dennis Hoff now, he won the Republican primary. He's got to face off um, the Democrat, you know, in November we'll do that election. But he's already in a district that leans Republican, so he has numbers uh, in his favor politically in terms of voters. So he's actually got the advantage right now uh, in the district he's in to, be go, to go ahead and go on to make it to the uh, Nevada State Legislature. And interestingly enough, uh, if, Dennis, if Dennis Hoff wins, he will actually not be the only brothel owner that's an elected official here in the state of Nevada. So uh, Lance Gilman is his name. He owns the Mustang Ranch up in northern Nevada, and he uh, is actually a commissioner in Story County here in Nevada. So, you know, Dennis Hoff would not be the first brothel owner to make elected office, but once again, this is something that is really unique uh, to Nevada politics here. Nevada has some, it's kind of interesting political history, you could say, and it has that history on a local level and also in the uh, national elections as well. So this one I just want to bring to you guys real quickly to talk about just some quick news that uh, I want to hear what you guys have to say about this. This was interesting, and I can't wait until November comes uh, to see what happens and how things shape up politically here in Nevada. So that's it for this video, guys. I'm Jacob. This is my life in Vegas.